guys, welcome to tonight's webinar on preparing for 2024 as a PSO or cam girl, cam model, sorry. I personally don't like to call myself cam model, but for purposes, we may have men and women and stuff. So <laughs> we'll use cam model. I like cam girl. I feel like I'm just a regular girl and just in this world. Anyways, my name is Paisley. Um, I'm sure most of y'all already know me, but for those that are going to be watching this on the replay, I have been a cam model for over five years, a phone sex operator for over four years, and just have learned a lot of information along the way that I come on my YouTube and share tips and stuff for. I ended up in adult work because I got fired from Whataburger. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but it's a fast food. Um, it's a fast food place that sells burgers for the most part. And I was a manager there, ended up getting fired. And I just knew that I didn't want to work a regular job anymore. I knew like, okay, this is <laughs> the my manifestation, the law of attraction, like pulling me away from here and I just felt relief when HR came in there and fired me I really did feel relief so I didn't know where I was going to end up but I stumbled across canning I think I knew I wanted to do something with adult work but I really didn't know much about this world stumbled across canning and fell in love and been hooked for since 2018 so Everyone always asks the question, like, do you feel like you're successful in this industry? And I feel like everyone's definition of success is a little bit different. So I will say I feel like I've been successful as a cam girl, even though I'm not where I want to be 100% financially, yet living in my complete abundance, because each year I go up fifteen or $20,000. So to see the increase that I get over the past five years, one has been a blessing. I think it's really cool that I'm making more than what I was making as a manager at Whataburger. So um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I like sharing different things on each of my webinars. So that's kind of the backstory and how I got here. Okay. With this whole industry, another thing that I talk about at all my webinars is my ABCs, but I did change B around, I think maybe like two webinars ago. So let's talk about them. The first one is A, and that stands for being accountable. You're not going to be successful in this industry if you don't know how to hold yourself accountable. And I had to learn that quickly because... There's no boss. There's no one telling you when you're taking your break. There's no one telling you, hey, get to work. They're going to write you up. If you're late, you're late. You're not going to get written up for that. So when you're used to living in that kind of lifestyle and then you come to this, it can be a little bit challenging holding yourself accountable. But I think it's I think it's very, 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 very important to be able to do that. If you're not one that knows how to do that, here are some tips to get you on the right track. Um, get on a schedule. That's like half of my course, to be honest, is preaching, getting on a schedule, staying on track and holding yourself accountable for that. Um, set yourself some goals. Learn to track your progress. And also be honest to yourself with yourself. Like, if you know you've been struggling to hold yourself accountable, like, don't be hard on yourself, but be honest because you obviously need to make some sort of changes. So maybe you're not sticking to a schedule. Maybe you don't have goals set, so there's nothing really defined. So doing those things could really help you um, hold yourself accountable. So B... I used to call it beauty because it was like the beauty and aesthetics and look, but ultimately B stands for branding. And I made this webinar um, for newbies. So if a couple of y'all are in here, I see that have been doing this a while. Cool. I did make this 
um, webinar for the newbies. So bear with me if you already know these things. The first thing when it comes to starting off branding is being able to pick a name and define your character. Like know who this person is, what their persona is like. As a PSO artist on sites like Talk To Me where you can have multiple characters, it's important to know their names, keep it in a journal, write it down, know some details about Uh, hold on one second. So apparently there's people that is trying to get in this webinar that can't. So I'm going to start a whole new Skype link. Give me about three minutes. I'm going to send it to the update group. I'll also send it here, but let's join the new one because for whatever reason, they're not able to join. Sorry. I'm sorry about that, y'all. 